Hi guys, um, so I've never done one of these video things that people always do to show you things, but uh, the number one question I get asked, um, not the number one question, the number one question I get asked is how do you survive in a van with your siblings, but the um, question I get not related to music is what pins do I use? And so I'm just going to show you guys real quick because I write this down every day it seems and so I just thought, you know, do a video. So, secret weapon, Sharpie. I'm not gonna lie, this is the number one thing I use. Uh, you know, see here you can do just massive black uh, black sections, which I tend to favor. Um, you can get really big Sharpies for that. See that? Takes a lot of ink. Get some Sharpies. I go through these things like toilet paper. That's gross. But, seriously, get some. That's what I use. Also, um, I really like the two-sided Sharpie because, um, like I said, I use this side a lot, but this side is also very magical for uh, the tiny lines, which I like too. See here, big Sharpie, little Sharpie. Um, okay, so it's not really, really that complicated. I know that seems like I didn't need to make a video for that, but um, two other pins that are very important. Um, Number one is, after Sharpie, is these pins are called, um, Rapidographs? I think that's how you say it. Uh, and these are kind of expensive, but you can get them at, um, I think any art store, Blick, and, and, um, those kind of places. But, um, they come in a bunch of different sizes. I have a bag full. Um, I don't end up using them, uh all though so you don't I mean I think a kit of them for like seven is probably around seventy dollars which is ridiculous who can afford that I can't um, but um, someone got them for me as gifts so I do have um, some extras um, I'm going to show you these um, if you really want to commit to the itty bitty lines let me see if I have an example okay I don't know if you can see this um, here you go right here see these guys well, those aren't possible with the Sharpie, even the tiny Sharpie. Um, what I use is this one. And um, if you want to do this kind of art, it's, you know, it's really simple. You can, it, that's the thing, is it looks good. You can pass for looking like you know what you're doing if you can get just one or two of these pins because you can make the smallest lines. Um, and this is a .50. Um, oh, my dog just farted. 50, point 0.50 and this is the one, it's pretty much the only one I use. You can get, the, they come in bigger sizes, um, although I have to really big ones, but it's really, they're kind of a pain in the butt too because um, as you can see, how you, what you do is you unscrew them. This is so pointless, you could look this up online, but you know, whatever, it's kind of fun on board. Um, my husband's out of town and I have nothing to do. Um, you take this off and you fill this with ink. Can you see that? Fill that with ink. And these are really, they're a commitment. They're messy and they dry up really fast if you don't use them constantly. Um, and sometimes they just get clogged beyond all fixing and they're, they're just, they're ruined. So that's why you have to really maintain these. Um, the tiniest one that I have is a .18. This one basically will just rip your paper. It's like a needle. That's pointless. Don't use it. Um, a cheap... Substitute, if you can't get these, they're like $20 a pin, so um, that is not something that you want to commit to. Get this guy. This is a Micron, Micron 005 is the number, and it's by Pig, Pigma. Yeah, this guy. Um, it's basically, just, it's a marker, it's not a pin. Um, but see that? It's really tiny. I don't know if you can see that. That one is great. Um, let's see. Example, uh, I use that on, see, it's pretty much, you can get away with looking like you have one of these pins, um, if you use, if you use those guys, but you, what you can't replicate is, um, the kind of sketchy thing that, re the Rapidograph pins, Rapidograph, I don't know how to say it, do, um, I don't know if this is a good example, but um, see how you can kind of make them sketchy? They're so sketchy. That is uh, the thing that you can't really get out of the marker. They're just kind of, they're too inky. But um, anyway, hope this helps you guys, and 
we are at five minutes, so boom.